my little dog. Lucy was seven years old and lived in a big city. She had a small apartment with her mom and dad. She always wanted a pet, especially a little dog. Every day after school, Lucy drew pictures of dogs and showed them to her parents. One Saturday, Lucy's mom said, Lucy, wear your shoes. We have a surprise for you. Lucy was so excited. They went to a place with lots of dogs. It was a pet adoption center. Lucy saw many dogs. Big dogs, small dogs, white dogs, and black dogs. But one dog was very special. It was a tiny brown dog with white paws. The little dog ran to Lucy and wagged its tail. Can we take this dog home? Lucy asked. Her parents smiled and said, Yes. This is your surprise. Lucy was so happy. She named the dog Maximum. Every day, Lucy and Max played together. They ran in the park, played with a ball, and sometimes just sat and looked at the sky. Lucy's drawings changed after that day. Now she always drew her and Max having fun. She was happy because her dream came true. Max was not just a dog, he was Lucy's best friend. A black hole. Timmy loved looking at the stars. Every night, he would go to his balcony with his small telescope and look up at the sky. He would see the bright moon, twinkling stars, and sometimes even a shooting star. One day at school, his teacher talked about space. She showed the class a picture of a black hole. It looked mysterious. A black hole is a place in space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape it, not even light, the teacher explained. Timmy was fascinated. That night, he imagined a black hole in the sky, sucking up all the stars, and wondered, wondered what was inside it. He drew a picture of a black hole and showed it to his mom. This is a black hole, mom. It eats everything. His mom smiled. It sounds scary, but remember, black holes are very far away. Our earth is safe. Timmy felt better. He continued to look at the stars every night always amazed by the wonders of the universe. The black hole was just one of the many mysteries he wanted to learn more about as he grew up. Far away from home. Lucy was on a family vacation. They had traveled to a place she had never been before. The houses looked different, and the food smelled strange. She missed her room, her toys, and her friends. Every evening, Lucy would sit by the window in the hotel room, looking out at the unfamiliar streets. She remembered playing in her backyard and the sound of her neighbors laughing. On the third day, Lucy's mother noticed she seemed a bit sad. Why the long face, Lucy? She asked. I miss home, Lucy whispered. Her mother hugged her. It's okay to feel that way. But remember, we're on an adventure. Let's try to enjoy it. The next day, Lucy and her family went to a local park. She saw children playing a game she had never seen before. 
With a little encouragement from her parents, Lucy joined in. She didn't know the rules, but the kids taught her, laughing and cheering together. By the end of the day, Lucy had made new friends. She realized that even though she was far away from home, she could still find happiness and fun. When they returned to the hotel, Lucy looked out of the window again. This time, the streets didn't seem so unfamiliar. She thought of her new friends and the fun games they played. Maybe being away from home wasn't so bad after all. The Blue River Tom lived in a small town, and right through the middle of it flowed the most beautiful river anyone had ever seen, the Blue River. The water was so blue that it looked like the sky had melted into it. Every morning, Tom would walk to the river bank with a slice of bread. There, he would see ducks swimming gracefully, waiting for him. He loved throwing crumbs to the ducks and watching them chase after each piece. One sunny day, while Tom was at the river, he saw something sparkling beneath the water. Curious, he reached down and picked up a shiny, blue stone. It was the same color as the river. Tom showed it to his grandma, who told him it was a river stone, made blue by the waters of the Blue River. She said it was a lucky stone. Tom kept that blue stone in his pocket every day. He believed it brought him luck. Whenever he felt sad or scared, he would touch the stone and think of the beautiful Blue River. The thought of the river always made him smile. The Blue River wasn't just a place for Tom, it was a reminder of the beauty in the world and the simple joys of life. And now, with his blue stone, Tom had a piece of the river with him wherever he went. The Green City In a faraway land, there was a city called Green City. As you might guess, it was not an ordinary city. The buildings were not made of bricks or concrete. Instead, they were made of strong, tall trees. People in Green City lived in treehouses. The roads were not made of asphalt but were clear paths among lush grass. There were no cars, only bicycles, and everyone had one. Lara was a little girl who lived in the biggest treehouse in the center of Green City. From her window, she could see the whole city. She loved to watch people cycling below, children playing on the grassy grounds, and birds flying from one tree to another. Every morning, Lara would water her plants. She had a garden on her balcony filled with flowers of all colors. She loved listening to the birds singing and the leaves rustling in the wind. In Green City, people cared about nature. Schools taught children how to plant trees and take care of animals. There were no factories, so the air was always fresh and clean. Instead of factories, they had gardens where they grew their food. Lara's favorite place was the Central Park, a huge garden in the middle of the city. Here, people came to relax, have picnics, and play. Lara loved to lay on the grass, look at the sky, and dream. She hoped that one day all cities would become like Green City where people and nature lived in harmony. Every night, before going to bed, she would make a wish on the brightest star, hoping for a greener and happier world for everyone. A strange call. Tom was a curious little boy who lived in a small town. 
One sunny day, as he was playing with his toy cars in his room, his home phone rang. He ran to answer it, thinking it might be one of his friends inviting him over to play. Hello? Tom answered. A soft, strange voice replied, Hello, is this Tom? Tom was surprised. Yes, this is Tom. Who is this? I'm a friend from a faraway land, the voice said mysteriously. Tom was puzzled. A faraway land. Like in the fairy tales. The voice chuckled, something like that. I've heard a lot about you, Tom. I've heard you're very kind and always help others. Tom felt proud but also a bit scared. Thank you. But how do you know about me? Well, let's just say birds talk, and I've heard them sing songs about your kindness. Tom looked out of the window and saw a bird sitting on the tree branch, chirping happily. Is that one of your bird friends? Tom asked. The voice laughed softly, maybe. Remember, Tom, always be kind, and your kindness will spread far and wide. And with that, the call ended. Tom was left amazed and ran to tell his mother about the strange call. She smiled, kissed his forehead, and said, Always remember, good deeds never go unnoticed. From that day on, Tom always remembered the strange call and the message. He realized that even small acts of kindness could have big impacts. And so, he continued to spread kindness wherever he went, hoping to make the world a better place.